Oh my god, they fucking did it, boys. It's time, it's time, it's time. Call of Duty 4 is remastered, and it's literally mind-blowing. Out of all the Call of Duties in the Infinity Ward series, they picked the remaster, the one that started it all, Modern Warfare. I really did wish they did Modern Warfare 2, but Modern Warfare 1, uh, Call of Duty 4, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. I can go ahead and have my skill get back. I literally, I literally just made a video hours ago explaining how there's no skill gap and now i have my skill gap back i have my boots to the ground i have my m16 i have my stopping power there's not people rushing around anymore that are just running around cluelessly because they do the exact same amount of damage as everyone else i have my stopping power back i'm gonna go ahead and be playing on actual war maps i'm gonna be playing on bog crossfire backlot i'm not gonna be playing on on water park extreme 4 i'm not gonna be playing on roller coaster tycoon i'm gonna be playing on a warfare scene a battlefield i'm gonna be playing on bog do you not understand how exciting that is and infinity ward is so goddamn smart because they're going ahead and making it where you have to buy the legacy edition which is obviously you have the standard edition you have the legacy edition then you have like the prestige or like the higher end edition and the, this edition that's coming out right now is like the middle class edition. You have like the poor, like the middle class, and like the you want to go ahead and you have like a lot of extra money. But you have to go ahead and you have to buy the middle class one. You have to buy that like legacy edition one. And I'm telling you, Infinity Ward, you're fucking smart because you fucked up on Ghost. And then you went ahead and you're like, we're going to take a big leap. And then Advanced Warfare came out, they fucked up on that. Then Black Ops 3 came out, they fucked up on that too. And now you went ahead and you have spaceships in. And spaceships are now confirmed. They're not confirmed by the developers, but they're confirmed in this picture. Go ahead and look behind the guy. You can actually go ahead and see the spaceship. And that's how we know that it's going to be in space. But yet again, I said in my last video, you guys have to remember that it's actually not going to be in space. It's just going to be just like in Destiny and just like on Halo. You're going to be playing like a big huge bay, a big huge like loading dock, maybe a big huge spaceship. Or you're going to be playing on a different type of planet. You're not going to be actually be playing in space. And as soon as you spawn, you're going to see like planets and like a mile away from you, you're going to be, you're going to be enemies. And you're going to be like your teammates like left and right in different like type of uh, spaceships. It's not going to be like that. It's not actually going to be Star Wars like having spaceships flying around. It's not going to be like that. You're just going to be, maybe that's in the campaign, but in multiplayer, it's not going to be like that. Multiplayer is going to be just like in Destiny and Halo 5, but enough about inf Infinite Warfare, Infinity Warfare, Crap Warfare, whatever it's called, because to be honest, I'm not even going to be playing that game. And I'll tell you why. Infinity War, why they are so goddamn smart. They think that we're stupid, but I'm going to go ahead and catch on to it right now. What they're doing is, they're going to go ahead since they, since Advanced Warfare and since Black Ops 3, everyone's complained about this movement. Even though that we complained about it in Ghost, I'm saying, actually, no, you guys complained about it in Ghost. I didn't complain about it. I was perfectly fine with the exact same thing. I could have Marvel for two for 30 years. I'd be perfectly fine with it. But the thing is, if Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is really bad, which most likely, actually, I'm just kidding. But I always love the Warfare series. But if the game is bad, then everyone's go ahead and play the modern warfare remastered series and they're so smart because they went ahead and made the modern warfare remastered series and the legacy edition because the game usually regular is 69.99 now this special edition of the legacy edition is probably gonna be like 89.99 or 99.99 so if a lot of people don't buy that normal edition well now that legacy edition goes ahead and it bumps up the rankings and it gives you so if two people buy that legacy edition now it covers one person from not buying the game so it's just gonna go ahead and even itself out on the stocks and all the on the marketing exchange so infinity ward you're very smart but you're not that slick i went ahead and caught on to what you're doing but i'm literally so excited i i I just can't comprehend. I just said in my last video that there's no skill gap, and I have a skill gap now. I have my boots to the ground. I can't comprehend that. I I, I just gotta stop. I gotta I gotta cut this commentary here because I gotta go. I gotta go and play some offer two right now. Like I'm just having the best time of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tiny update video. I'm going ahead and put two videos out today, so go ahead and drop a like. And guys, we're gonna be grinding now when it comes out. Tips and tricks videos are coming out the ass. We're going to have commentaries and, and stories and everything coming out because I can't wait to get my hands on that remastered version. I hope you guys are excited as much as I am. And go ahead and tell me in the comments what Call of Duty you actually want to go ahead and see get remastered the most. But hope you guys enjoy this quick little video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. Oh, damn! Bro, this is fire!